Hello. Um, so, slight change of plans. I was originally planning to do a video where I tried out the 3D version of Adventure Quest, but for a couple of different reasons that I ended up getting canned. The most important one being the footage that I had, I accidentally deleted. See, what had happened was I had opened up my gallery and uh, I was trying to get rid of some of the stuff just because I really don't want to fill up my phone with uh, way too much info. And I think while I was clearing out my pre-recordings, I might have accidentally um, gotten rid of the original recording. <laughs> but you know what? To be perfectly honest, I think it was kind of okay to get rid of it because... Um, it seemed like it was going to be pretty dull. It didn't really look like a super great interface for an RPG. And watching people grind on an RPG doesn't seem like something that would be entertaining in the first place. Um, yeah. So, instead so what I decided to do was uh, play a quick uh, round of PUBG. Um, I used to play this a lot uh, on the mobile app uh, a couple months back. Um, pretty much all the way up until the day that uh, Call of Duty Mobile came out, in which case that became my mainstay game. Um, I only recently started getting back into it, and uh, still have my edgy long coat with a hat and a mask character going. And let's see, looks like I'm going to be jumping with wherever number four wants to go, so... Yeah, so uh, I figured we'll go ahead and play this, chat a little bit about some upcoming video ideas, um, and maybe see if we can't get a win out of this. Uh, as it's a battle royale, I can't necessarily guarantee that it'll be some good gameplay. I know with a lot of the more recent games that I've played of this, which haven't been a lot of them, it's mostly just been me running around, not doing a whole lot of anything except for collecting armor. Especially because I am a big time plane chaser. I love following the planes because when they drop, uh, you can, I mean, obviously the most direct use is uh, you can go get better armor and stuff like that. But it also happens to be where a lot of players will combine and, uh, or, what's the correct term here? Convene? I think, maybe. Well, that's where a lot of people gather. Well, let's just say that. And it makes it easier for you to uh, pick a couple of people off. Um, doesn't always work. It seems like a lot of players these days are kind of wising up to the fact that they might literally just be met. Ooh. Looks like one of our teammates got hit. That sucks. Okay. But, uh, yeah, a lot of people are wising up to the fact that they can definitely get shot down. I gotta say, I'm really happy, you know, a couple, a minute into the game, and I've already got my sniper rifle, which I love sniping on this game. Uh, I have an automatic, but it's a burst fire, but I have a fully automatic, uh, Scorpion 2, so my miniature side, oh my goodness, two of my teammates are dead. Oh, it's gonna be a rough one. I'm gonna say, let's get out of the, oh, oh, oh. Ah, uh, well, that's unfortunate. That's okay. We're rolling up another game. <clears throat> yeah, it's it's been a little bit of time. Didn't even get a chance. Yeah. Oh well, it happens. Uh, that's kind of the name of the game with battle royale. You win some, you get completely obliterated in others. Um, I'm just doing Sandhook right now. Um, I'll probably just do a mixed bag next time I decide to do this, but, uh, I remember this one's really good for, uh, running around and getting good sniping positions. Um, I'm gonna see if I can't get people to follow me this time, because then I can pick out a spot to drop off on the map. Um, uh, but where do I want to go? Let's see... Let's go check out the ruins. I like the ruins. You can usually get some pretty cool stuff over there, at least from what I remember. A buddy of mine told me 
that in just about all of the maps, if you go to any of these four corners, um, you can usually find some level 3 gear and a bunch of other stuff, but I think we're going to go ahead and just stick with the, uh, the ruins. So it's going to be our drop spot. Anyway. <clears throat> but yeah, back to what I was saying. Adventure quest. Um, I just completely decided to can that idea. It doesn't seem like it's going to be entertaining. Uh, it, it's, it just doesn't seem like it would be worth it. Plus, I don't want to go through and refilm it anyway. So, instead, um, I'm currently limiting the games to the Pokemon TCG, PUBG, Call of Duty Mobile, and eventually Minecraft. I'm still trying to figure out what direction I want to go with that. Um, and then, uh, eventually I'm going to swap over to doing some of my, uh, PC games, which really is only one particular game, um, which is, uh, MTG Arena and MTGO, so Magic the Gathering content, um, which I'm kind of nervous about doing because I've seen a lot better content than anything that I think I can provide out there, but it's, it's better to get started and get better than to just never do it, in my personal opinion. Alright, so I have the same burst fire rifle. I don't like burst fire because at that point you might as well just do single shot. But I have a sniper rifle again, which I'm happy about. Um... I got a four times scope, and I think there's someone behind me. Nope, there's not. Oh, there's someone near me, though. But in the temple, it's really hard to tell where someone's at exactly, because it's like multiple layers. Let's just make it a of terror. Yeah, see, there's someone right there. Come on. You're gonna fight me. Fight me. I died again. Oh well. It does not seem like it's going to be my day. But we will go ahead and we'll take one more shot at it. Um, just because I've got some other stuff to go over. And I don't really want to end this video with nothing but completely suboptimal gameplay. So we'll do one more round. But, um, I did get a couple of other videos done, and I will probably, I don't know if I'm going to release them today or, or tomorrow, but I'm going to release them together, and they have to do with the Pokemon TCG. I have a couple newer players, um, watching my videos, and so what I did is I, uh, did a video on the, uh, um, currency options, trading, and things like that. And uh, I did another one explaining uh, basic deck building strategies uh, so far as I have gathered between what people were saying on Reddit and through my own experimentation. Um, but I'm not going to give any additional details out about that. I just have to wait and see whether or not they get released today or tomorrow. <clears throat> After that... Uh, I think I'm going to wait a little bit before releasing any more Pokemon content because I really want to diversify the portfolio and so far uh, at the point of releasing this, half of it is already Pokemon stuff and by the time those two videos are released, it'll be an entire two-thirds. So, yeah, but I do, I do want to focus on doing like daily uploads. Um, it also doesn't help that I don't have a whole lot of stuff available in the Pokemon TCG right now. Really, all I have that's even passable um, is my Salamence deck and my uh, Eevee deck. Um, let's put that on the two. Oh, where's he going? He did not signify the map. So yeah, I, I'm I'm currently. Uh, I do have a deck built that I had for a sample deck building, but it is pretty suboptimal. It's just, it was there for an example. Um, but we'll see more about that in the uh, subsequent videos involving them. 
Oh, sorry for the yawn there. I've been up a literally all night. Uh, but I I have been uh, looking at cards that the people have been playing um, in the extended format, and I will most likely. Um, I, I've been looking at kind of uh, a catch-all strategy, or not a catch-all strategy. I don't really know how to describe it. But it's basically a strategy where you're you're hitting all a bunch of different stuff all at once, and uh, I'm I'm gonna have to trade out for a lot of the stuff for it. So it'll be a little bit before I have that back out, and I don't want all of my gameplay just to be the uh, EV decks and the Shadowlands deck because that would without a doubt get pretty boring. Although. I've got to say, it is pretty fun to them. Oh, it looks like we finally got somewhere. There's a person up in the back. He's up in the and he's shut me down. Alright, well, that's just about enough PUBG for today. Believe it or not, for my warm-up, I actually did get a win. So I was really hoping to at least replicate some decent gameplay. But I just got completely annihilated three times in a row. <sighs> Oh well. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed a little bit of this PUBG gameplay, even though I was complete garbage the entire time. And with any luck, we will see some better videos upcoming. So for now, thanks for watching. And uh, keep it out for some upcoming content. If you have any suggestions, that would be helpful too. Um, just keep in mind, currently all I really have is Call of Duty Mobile, PUBG Mobile, Pokemon Trading Card Game, and Minecraft. Again, mobile. And then eventually I'm going to swap over and do some Magic the Gathering stuff on the computer.